Scotch o'clock. Scotch last one, o'clock. Last one of the year. Last, last one, one of the of year. 2020. Far out. Well, we've only done three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. But, but we were slowed down by this thing called COVID. Yeah, we were slowed down. Yeah. Yeah, the talk of the town at the moment. Yeah. yeah. But I'll tell you what didn't slow down. What? Whiskey. No, no, whiskey didn't slow down. Whiskey definitely didn't slow down. No. In fact, it sped up. Yeah. Far too much time at home and not driving well, means... It's a bit of a problem. A lot of people were locked, locked down at home started drinking early. Well, I <laughs> definitely uh, put on a few COVID kilos. Yeah, I think a lot of people have. <clears throat> now, we've okay. got a, a Japanese. I've not tried this one before. This was from, this was from Uncle Mac. Uncle Mac. Well Shout done, out for Uncle Mac. Mac. Yep, yep. Uh, Japanese. Uh, 40%. And uh, just have, have a read of the uh, of what, what it says there. Look, I would read, except I haven't got my reading glasses and I can't read Japanese. It's interesting. <laughs> so it's provided absolutely stuff all help to what we're about to taste. And if my but, good friend George was watching, I could probably show this to him and he could read it. But I guess we're about to find out. Yeah. See. So, there you go. Lovely. Well, what are we going to talk about? We've got a bit to talk about, I think, well, today, don't we? Better, if anybody had asked us at the beginning of the year... What was the year going to look like? You could never have predicted it, could you? It'd be no. no chance in the world. No. You know, we talked about a few things, but boy, it turned out different. It turned out different. It's finishing, finishing well. Yeah. Busy. Busy. Cheers. Here's the two 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 o two one. Two o two one. Oh, it's interesting. It's nice. It is nice. I like it. I like that. Yeah. It's kind of. Uh, yeah. They're making some good whiskies now, the Japanese, aren't mm. they? Mm. Very good. Very good. Thanks, Uncle Mac. Yeah. And Paul. Thank you, Uncle Mac. Yeah. So well, not Paul, just Uncle Mac. Paul did nothing. But a sweet FA. We don't never do anything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? Hopefully he's not watching. <laughs> he probably watch later. So what are we talking about today? Well, I guess we better talk if we had our launch party last week, which well, that, was that which was, was good fun. Very good, yeah, absolutely. That was a good a good night actually. Yeah. 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 A lot of freeloaders there. But was there was night. a lot of freeloaders there, but uh, it was it was good nonetheless. <laughs> it was good nonetheless. No, it was, it was a good night. I talked to quite a few people, but everybody's really of the same view. It's been a really fascinating year. Yeah, yeah it has been, and you know, if if nothing else, it's made everybody really try to think properly and think in st- depth about what they need to be doing for twenty one. You know, preventatively and strategically, and also just. You know. Well, look, we, we started off the year talking a little bit about doing something with automation, then we had a meeting in Melbourne in February. Mm. And that really it was just a chance meeting in a way with an old, old colleague of mine, and that really kicked it off for us. Yep. So that's been the big issue for us this year. It's taken a lot of time. But well, it's we, taken we, a lot of time, and, you know, it's one of those things where I, I, I guess if you want to talk about people, you know, we've, we've been dabbling in automation for, yeah. for a number of years now, but at a relatively, you know, low to mid-level, and this is, this is a much more complex and much higher level uh, standard of automation, um, yep. and uh, you know the reality is, you know, when you try to enter a new marketplace, you know, you're really setting yourself up for a, a for a challenge yep. first and foremost. That doesn't mean that it detracts from the opportunity, but uh, you know, think things through properly. And we we've been talking about this for years, and yep. we've still been hit with a Mack truck yeah. in terms of what's actually required to, to get deliver. Up, get up and running. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. now we know at least we, we're up and running. The barrier to entry is high. So yep. we're, and we're in on the ground floor, which I think is excellent. So oh, the that's what I'm saying. The opportunity yeah. is tremendous, yeah. and yeah. you know what that what 2021 and and onwards is going to bring will be yeah. will be fantastic. Yeah, that's one of those things that everybody has to has to look at. You know what oh. what is the the leapfrog strategic decision you got to make in yeah. in any business to try and succeed. Well, we often talk about the fact that technology is changing everything. So, like I've often said, if you don't keep up with it, you've got a big problem. Mm. <clears throat> no matter what you do. Mm. You know, but, but, but I was watching a bricklaying machine the other night. Mm. You know, they're automating that. And the sort 3D of stuff. printing? Yeah, 3D and, printing. and everything? Amazing, you know? Yeah. So <clears throat> the times there are changing. Who sang that? I don't know. Is it Peter, a song? Peter Paul and Mary. Anyway, oh, okay. well, well before your time, Frank. Well, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but again, whiskey solves all problems. So despite the long hours, yeah. early mornings and late nights that have been happening, well, Frank's been here all night, you can tell, because he hasn't had a shave this morning. Well, I've been here all week, <laughs> yes. really. I just keep a change of clothes in the cupboard yeah, and right. keeps, keeps me going. That's about it. So so Christmas in two weeks, it's even scarier. Yeah, yeah. 
I was hoping for a bit of a break, but I don't know that that's going to happen at the no, present no, moment. It might be a bit of a remote possibility that we're not instant. I guess I'll just have to drink on the job. Yeah. What do you reckon, Angelo? That seems like a strategic, well, strategic move. Young Angelo's wedding coming up too on the 9th of uh, yeah. January. Yeah, we got an invite. I don't know how that no, happened. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bit scared to walk Pro into it. Into he's a probably church. just another freeloader that wants a present. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, that's it. laughs> Just looking for a gift for Walton. <laughs> no, I didn't mean. Yeah, so that was that was our big bit for the year, the automation thing. Mm. I don't think the the other things that have occurred during the year, I mean, I was listening again to something yesterday about the amount of people still working. There's still a lot of vacant office space around. There is a lot. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Especially in Melbourne. Um, so, you know, people are content to work from home. It seems to be working for some companies. But it, but it has its place, you know, and, and it's, that's just been cemented in people's minds now that they're within any future business model, yep. the exception of things like retail and, you know, yeah, you and that, the, yep. uh, well, not online retail, but obviously yep. street front retail, yep. hospitality businesses that, you know, yep. an element of them can do, you know, yep. admin, et cetera. Yep. But, uh, you know, the professional services, you know, consulting, yep. uh, any sort of big firm like that, has got to have a radical change in how they structure. Yeah. They're the bigger ones to start with, but as the little ones start to grow up, it's going to form a big part of the strategy. Well, yeah, I mean, you look at the you know, the big legal firms, the big, big accounting firms, mm. huge office space in the city. They'll start to shrink that down, I think, and people rostering and a couple of days at home. And the numbers of people that are on conference calls with a yep. beautiful shirt and tie and yeah, yeah. jacket and, 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 and underwear <laughs> That's right. uh, will be escala <laughs> escalating. <laughs> Like the news, day on day. Like the newsreaders used to do on Channel 9. What do you mean? They used to do that. Sit behind the desk with a, a, a coat and tie and shirt on and undies down, down below. Why? Well, because nobody could see them. So yeah, but care. you're at work. The, <laughs> the, 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 the crew could see. If we had no pants on right now, Angelo would have a front and centre view. I think, was, I think it was Channel 9. It was Sue told me that, I think. That's okay, that. all right. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. If you want to stay relaxed, it's, like, it's public well, speaking. They say, you know, picture everyone in their underwear or just be in your underwear. Well, that's right. relax it. <laughs> just look at look at the crowd and think of everybody naked. That's a scary thought. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's, there's some good looking crowds out there, but there's some not good looking crowds out there as well. I'm <laughs> yeah. not allowed to say that now anymore, no, am no, I? Everyone's not. beautiful. Yeah. We just had this discussion. Life is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just depends how many beers you've had, really, at the end of the day. Well, yeah, <laughs> after a few beers, everyone's beautiful. Maybe even me. Yeah, certainly not me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, this, I, this is you. Well, I got this from you. I know. Well, the genes are very strong. You, the gene pool. <laughs> they need to be after all those COVID kilos like, we're talking like, about. What, what was mum saying last night? She was talking to somebody claiming some sort of heritage. She says, oh, so what am I going to claim? Uh, Spanish, Irish, French, Dutch, American maybe? So what, what heritage has your mum got? I don't know. She's got the whole lot. That's why one of those tests would be really interesting I've to do. i do that. Yeah, do the, the, the DNA test. Actually, must... Let's get that organised, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'd be fascinating for you because, mm. you know, with the, especially with your mum's background, mm. you know. Did you know, did you know that? No, no, she died Spanish, Irish, French and Dutch. Each grandparent that's from a different country and then they immigrated to America. So she got all this mixed mm. blood. You know? mm. And in fact, if you, as you know, if you look at her and her sister and brother, they'll look completely different. Mm. You know, one, one Spanish, her sister's blonde with green eyes, or was, Mm. And the brother's got the real Spanish. Look. Mm. He looks like a he looks Spanish like Mel, Mel Gibson. Spanish Mel, Mel Gibson. Yeah, he's absolutely like Mel Gibson. Yeah, Spanish Mel Gibson, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And Di's got the French look, so it's really fascinates me all that sort of stuff. Ricky, we we you've tried to get him over for Christmas again. Well, yeah, Di well. and Mum spoke to him the other day. Yeah, and uh, no said, deal. Get on it. No, no deal. No, no. So he's just at home by himself. Mm. But he's such. He, he, my brother-in-law, uh, Angie, he, he's just the, the best sense of humour, isn't he, Frank? Oh, no, it'd be great to have him he's, over he's here. He's like a stand -up But speaking of sense of humour, I didn't want to bring this up, yeah. but I'm, I might have to, is that standard Scotch O'Clock format yeah. is that you're supposed to tell a joke oh, up front, yeah, and we yeah, haven't yeah. heard it yet, and well, we, that's all, oh, it's no, what no. I wait for every week. Well, you, you, but probably not the one you said earlier today. No, 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 we can't, no, probably no, can't no, say no, that one. That's politically incorrect. But we can maybe talk about the one about, you know, the nun having a bath. You had that one? Just to start off. Just to start a nun. She'd take a bath and there's a knock on the bathroom door. She said, and she said, oh, who's there? And he said, oh, I'm the blind man. She said, oh, the blind man, he could probably come in. He can't see. She said, come on in. He walks in. She said, oh, nice tits. Where do you want the blinds? <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
don't know. Is that all right? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I guess social media will tell us if that's all right once we upload it. Oh, it's clean. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, well, yeah I guess semi, but you know. Yeah, okay. There you go. There you go. Well, okay, now I feel I feel much better. It's it's so important to laugh. People don't laugh much anymore. It's horrible. You know, Angela and I were talking about before, before you came in, you know, and we always had the joke of the day and all this stuff, which you can't do anymore, but, you know, it's... Well, the thing is, is that, you know, it, in every business, you know, whether it's... You know, I guess it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. There's, there's shit boring parts of the day. Yeah. I don't care who you are or what business you're in. And now, not everything is fantastic about every job. You might yeah. love your job, and we do, but there's certainly elements of it that are just... Yeah. Draining, well, you know the, that's life. But well, throughout about, the day, if you don't have a sense of humor and you don't have the, the the time to have a, a laugh, it yes. just makes the day much harder. Yeah, I mean, you've got to be so careful because the PC police are going to get you. It's ridiculous. You know, it really is crazy stuff. Mm. And most of the times, I've often said, as long as you're not personally directing something at somebody and offending them, that's uh, different. That's I, completely I st- different. I still believe that you know, to a big extent, PC is about intent. You know, and jokes are about intent. You know, it's about what what are you actually, if you're intending to hurt somebody oh, yeah, or intending to belittle or bigot yeah, somebody, that's absolutely that's wrong, hundred percent. But a joke is a joke. Yeah. Men have certain characteristics. Women have certain characteristics. Races have certain characteristics. Yeah. You know, ages have certain characteristics. That doesn't mean that that you know, yeah. we can't well, extort that for fun. Not, not <laughs> We might not be able to air this one. I think I've just thrown us right in the shit. In the early 70s, in the early 70s, it was all Polish and Irish jokes. They were the go. Was it? Yeah, which which today just wouldn't do. But it's all Polish and Irish jokes. Yeah. You know? It's like the, 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 the Irish plane that crash landed in, oh, in, God, the, cem- in, 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 in the cemetery. You know, have you heard about that one? Hang on, just turn this off. <laughs> the Irish plane that had a, crashed in a cemetery and, you know, by, by the next morning they'd extracted you know, a thousand bodies. <laughs> Only the Irish. <laughs> oh, God. So this doesn't air in Ireland, does it? Is it is Facebook's not global, is it? <laughs> Staying it. Good. Anyway, but yeah, I mean... It's all right. We're Irish. We're allowed there, aren't we? We've we, we got Irish heritage. Absolutely. Counting cool. Yeah. You know, for us. Um, but yeah, so I think you're right. If, if, things are, if things are personally directed, they're offensive, and that's wrong. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, if, if you're right. Work, workplaces, especially in like our profession, which in, in some ways can be fairly dry, you need to have a bit of fun yeah. during the day. It's Absolutely. In any workplace, really, at the end mm. of the day. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, so. Well, thank God we've got you and Angela. That, that really uh, really sharpens up the environment well, in we, here. We, we tend to keep Harley laughing because she's, she's got a good sense of humor. Well, I think it keeps everybody laughing and it just keeps me, you know, in contact with the lawyers. Chow, Chow's the sleeper. <laughs> Chow's the sleeper. She doesn't say much, but she's got a very sharp sense of humor. Just crafting her affidavit. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't miss a trick. <laughs> Which is why, it, you know, I'm looking forward to the Christmas party next week. That's yeah. that's when that's when all bets are off, right? <clears throat> that's right. Yeah. Except Angelo bailed out. But then you're not coming. No, I got off the day off. A job that was too good to refuse. Okay, fair enough. Sounds like something. Yeah, I was going to say, don't, 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 I was gonna say don't, don't dig into that. <laughs> don't know exactly where it was going to go from there because it has nothing to do with work. <laughs> For Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> Angelo still thinks Manuel Lobes is a Spanish tennis player. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what can I, what can oh, I say? Jesus. Yeah, so we've obviously delivered just some tremendous value for everybody today. <laughs> our business strategy <laughs> and <laughs> how to plan for 2021. And so it's a real value add. It's a real value add. So watch this before you go into your strategic meeting for 2021. <laughs> what you plan to do. Yeah. And you'll grab, you'll extract absolutely nothing. Well, it's going to be. I think. I think next year is going to be interesting because I, I can't see, um, for instance, international travel coming back for, you know, another <coughs> probably another twelve months. I don't think. Or everyone's oh, more. To, more. Yeah. It's one hundred eighty-five thousand in US today. Yeah, that's right. And, and it's, three thousand deaths. We we're, we're so we're but, so. But uh, I think a, a Belgium. I heard on in Belgium or somewhere had the worst day they've had. Italy, and well, US, USA had the highest death rate in yeah. one day in Three, history, 3,400 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and something. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're so sheltered here in, in Australia and even more so in WA yeah. because we just don't see anything. No. Or the, uh, the worst thing that I see is walking to work from, uh, from my building when I go past the Novotel and you can see all the windows and they, are, they obviously give everybody when they walk into a quarantine hotel a book of post-it notes. 
Right? Okay. Because all they do on every window at the Novotel is there's a post-it number, day three, done in post-its on every window okay. facing out. So when you walk up the street, you can see in Novotel, like day three, day seven, day 10, is day four. Right? Yeah, for all the internationals that are coming in. One of them, I won't say this, one of them says, thanks, China. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump said plenty of that. <laughs> yeah, so right. I'm not going to say I agree with that or not, but I'm just saying that's what the window says. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's interesting. Probably some of those people can't write properly anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the people in Novotel. I'm just going to go with the people in Novotel. So yeah, it's it's 2021 and, and international travel. I mean, we're two we're two years out minimum, except for some bubbles, so, you know, New Zealand, you know, uh, or you know, a few other places that have yeah. that have got good track records. But Europe and the US, I mean, we we got no chance. No, I know. I, mean, I wouldn't even bother. And it's, it, again, I was watching something last night. I think it was on the news, but. Tourism around Australia has gone berserk because mm. everybody in Australia is travelling to Australia, which yeah. is a great thing. It's really good for the economy. We're keeping all the dollars that would have gone overseas and now back in Australia. Yeah. So the economy is doing pretty well. Yeah. I think the other the other big issue for next year that we just picked up on this week really is industrial relations reform. If we want to get to talk about work stuff. Yeah. Well, that's and, just super. And I think that's what what Christian Porter is doing is really good and I think it's it's time that we had some really good changes. But there has to be. Yeah. I mean there's got to be the the IR reform is, is is critical and just some general tax reform is, is gotta happen to, you know at some point soon too. And it's gotta be next. Yeah. But the IR reform is gonna make it hopefully easier for the businesses because whilst it you know gives us work helping you know yeah. navigate people through, it's just it's so complex and yeah. and tough for small businesses and most of them are not doing it properly because well, they can't. Like, They're just well, you, you, you look at a spreadsheet you and I did recently for a client of ours who had a problem with somebody, and, and even he was stunned when I sent it to him. That, that he said, "Is it this complicated?" Mm. I said, "Yes." I said, "You can actually look at the times that, that, that and this was in hospitality, of course, that this bloke worked. Mm. It's very complex to work out exactly what he should yeah. have got. You know, it's just it, it, it's, uh, it's it, to me it reeks of you know bureaucrats in Canberra coming up with something to complicate the shit out of everything. Oh well, yeah, that's but that's pretty much what happens. That's standard. That's a standard. You yeah. know." That's a standard unionised system yeah. where it says you should be entitled to something for that. Yeah. You know, this allowance, this time, this day, yeah. this, you know, whatever, that's just, that's what it was built off. That's right. Right. But you can still make it fair. Like, it, it, this is the stupidity of the whole system, right? Is that if you take all of that together and accumulate it and say, well, these are the hours you're going to do every week. Yep. And using all of that comes up with basically a minimum wage yep. that you could pay someone as an hourly rate yep. seven days a week well, 24 hours a day like it used to be yep. and except for maybe public holidays or some yep. you know things and they're still going to get paid the same amount yep. but the poor businesses are going to get a 70 percent reduction in cost yep. of compliance and payroll and yep. and you know administration of the whole thing yep. just because it's yep. easy well, but he's, the people are still going to get paid the same yeah no it's just it's, it's just this convoluted way of in a, in an environment that we're in today, where business is twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, yep. right? Retail shops open and close, but then they're online at night. You know, hospitality works weekends, public holidays, early mornings, late nights, bars, clubs. You know, there's there's very few business models left that are nine to five, barring professional services and you know and yep. that sort of stuff. And, and even us, if we got to do stuff on weekend now. We're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. People, you know, the, people are in you and I all the time. Yeah, it's not, that's not just the way it is. Yeah. So the fact that the system is so heavily tied to a nine to five, yeah. when that only actually is a small yeah. percentage of businesses and employees, is yeah. just ridiculous. Well, I think when in, in the, you know, an upset, a lot of people going, going back to when they had, you know, fair work or whatever, sorry, work choices. But one of the things that was good, you had an hourly rate that was just a base rate, and then that worked for every, any five days you worked. Yeah. So if you work Saturday to Wednesday, that was cool. That was a week. So there was no overtime. Yeah, you penalty. still have your, your 38 hours or yeah, 40 hours, right. yeah, but it just doesn't correct. matter what days they're on. That was nice and simple. Yeah. And it made, it made sense to me because a lot of people might want to work on work, especially cash might want to work on weekend. They might mm. be studying during the week. Mm. Makes sense, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, and, and that's what Porter's trying to sort of push push back on that, that, that we can have a, a just a set hourly rate. They're going to apply the, the no worse off rule, which that's fine. You yeah, know. but look, and but I also understand that you've got to have some system in place to protect the employees yep. from employers who exploit want them. you to work. Yeah, exploit exactly, and want you to work twelve hours with no breaks. Yeah, right. And so the things that are in the award for penalties in that regard, like 
yeah. not having a long enough gap between shifts. Like yeah. you work a, a double in hospitality, finish at 1 a.m. and have to start again at 7. You can't do it. It's not on, right? Like that's fine. Working 12 hours with only a 10 minute tea break in between, it's not on, you know, it, and they should be yeah. getting penalties and, yeah. and extra rates Absolutely. for that intense amount of work. Yeah. But just generally speaking, if you're doing your 40 hours across whatever day, night, whatever, yeah. it should be simple. Yeah. Right, it should be simple for the simple employees, and then when you people are working their ass off and doing more, they get penalised. You well, know, we did, for, we did it for a client of it. I did the other day, and we worked out that we put this particular person on an hourly rate of X amount of dollars, and she was as happy as Larry with it because it was just nice and simple. Mm. You know, you work this many hours, you work more than that, you get some overtime. But other than that, this is it. But even employees want a budget every week. Yeah, I know. You know, and if they're on a casual or part time situation, yeah. you know, you think an employee can sit there and go, okay, well, after six pm, I get there. After eight. Of this, I got a, an allowance for, for this, and I get this. It just, just doesn't work. They don't even know what they're going to get paid every week. They've just got an no. idea. It's so so. they got mortgages and rent and everything else. So it's just the complexity affects everybody. But you also know? In, in hospitality and, and, and retail particularly, you've got a lot of you know, students in there that technically can't work any more than 20 hours a week, all this sort of stuff. So it gets complicated, and then the employees start giving them cash. It's terrible. None of our clients, obviously. No, but, no. But I don't know where you heard that. I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> cash doesn't, doesn't none cash. of our clients actually take cash. A, and that's another interesting thing it, since COVID I was talking to one of our clients the other got a hotel I said how much cash are you getting now he said Basi- well, basically none basically none about yeah. 10% it used to be 50 three years ago now it's now down to about 10% mm. yeah, almost almost none yeah you know, nobody's carrying it anymore it's all you know, pay pass stuff now yeah well it's easier that way yeah well I don't know I never Maybe I've got five bucks in my wallet, that's about it. No, I don't carry cash. The only no. way, I, yeah, I just don't have it. No. Never. No, don't need it. You know, what do you need it for? Unless you're going to visit hookers or something. They like cash, apparently. <laughs> but not, not, the, not that I had it. And we're back. <laughs> it went so well. It went so well. <laughs> See Angelo's face behind the camera. He goes from so happy to so sad in just a, in just a second. <laughs> We're all realists. You know, We're all realists. We right. know that everyone loves a hooker here now and then. <laughs> That's right. <you> know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. oh, dear, uh, welcome to Alderton welcome and Company. Alderton. Say it That's as it is. Not, <laughs> not what everyone wants to hear. That's why we're not boring accountants. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, because when you come in... <laughs> get your tax return done. <laughs> First accountants with a happy ending. No. <laughs> So yeah, so that I think that those reforms, if they get, and I think you'll probably get them through the Senate, will be uh, will be very good yeah. for, for a lot of our club, for all of us, including us and, and our clients. I think it's a really good thing. Yeah, no, absolutely, I agree, I agree for sure. And if I run into Mr. Porter over the Christmas break over at the local cafe, I'll tell him so. Yeah, very right, should. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. If I can't imagine how, but you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't be in politics. I mean. Oh. Forgetting about the PC side of things, just the bureaucracy and the and the requirement to to achieve something and get it. No, oh, no, it's you know it's backstabbing and all this sort of stuff. It's not my, not my. It's a brutal game. Yeah, absolutely. A brutal game. Absolutely. You know, you, you've got to have very thick skin to be in that game. Yeah, and you know, you give you you, you know everyone gives shit to politicians uh, all the time, and you know. A lot of them are incapable, but a lot of them are capable. And uh, you know, but, but, either or, go through some shit to, to try and achieve in, anything. In, in both, you know, state and federal government, the guys and ladies at cabinet level work awfully hard. Mm. They really do. They they put in a lot of hours, and, and you know, you look at what they do, and and and, and for really, if they're in the private sector, they're probably earning five times what they earn as politicians. So, you know, you've got to congratulate them. But yeah, and then, and just the hour, even talking to. Odd time I talked to Mr. Porter at the local cafe. Just going to Canberra and back, you know, leaving your family and mm. you know you're away a lot. And it's just hard, yakka. Right, yeah, it's know. a big job. Yeah, big job, huge job, huge job. Anyway, <clears throat> but that'll be good. So I think that's a real plus for next year, and I think the economy will start to pick up next year. I think there's any doubt about that at all. Well, yeah. look, I mean, the question is if Australia keeps staying as one of the staples globally for for yeah. health. Yeah. And not having a, pending the results of these vaccines, obviously, yeah, yeah. Um, then 
you know, we're going to be the strongest. We're going to be the one place that everybody wants to go. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. McGowan's not going to, not McGowan, uh, ScoMo and McGowan aren't going to let anyone in. No, no, that's right. <laughs> but everyone's going to want to be here. Get the borders up. Yeah. But, but yeah. Absolutely. So it'll probably push people to buy assets in Australia. And because if, you know, if, if the bubbles start to appear country by country from yeah. the rest of the world, the first bubble that they're going to try and achieve probably is here because it's the safest one for their people. So yeah. people having assets to, you know, property and, in, you know, stuff yeah. to, yeah. you know, House tourism the, when it comes back. I think the last thing, the other last lesson is, I know there's some issues with China and the market at the moment, and I, I've written a little bit about this, but you know, an old story: don't put all your eggs in one basket. Mm. Too many people did, and then you look at what happened to say Treasury wines have got a huge kick in the guts because it's a huge part of their market was China, and all of a sudden, you know, political risk mm. had vanished overnight. Yeah, and. Um, you know, that'll probably come back, but it'll be a while away. Well, it's going to be hard, uh, hard to actually so get it back. I think you know people should be very aware of that. I mean, if you're dealing with that, and, and the lamb industry this week, you know, six, seven hundred eighty million dollar kick in the guts. Mm. Go and find new markets. I mean, you should never have complacency is a killer. Yeah, absolutely. Complacency is a killer, and yeah. and it's no it's no secret to anyone, businesses, big or small, yep. that there's a shitload that you got to think about. Yep. You know, and to ensure the longevity, to ensure. You know the, you know yeah. you're going to make it in the long haul, yep. and you know a small amount of complacency over time, and something can happen and catch you off guard, yep. and you can go backwards very quickly. It's like in the business we sold in Melbourne some years ago. One of the things that appealed to the people buying it was I think our biggest debt was ten percent. Mm. Well, you can lose ten percent if, if if something yep. goes wrong. But if, if your biggest debt is sixty seventy percent, you've got a major problem. If, if it goes goes wrong, yeah, we've seen it before. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Time, you know, time and time not time. just debtor, a supplier. Yeah, supplier. Same you know, thing. people in the same boat that have one supplier that yep. does, you know, that controls all of their stock. Yep. And the supplier goes bad. Yeah, major problem. So there's a, you know, you know, debtor and creditor spread is a, is a massive, <coughs> is a massive thing yeah, to think yeah. about for a lot of businesses. Yeah. But you know, amongst the other million things that you got to think about, you got to stay on. Well, even stay today, switched on, stay today, alert. Look at the government was very smart, but they they ought to. The, the COVID 50 million, vaccine. 50 million vaccines. Off, off four different people, and the Australian one's now being pulled because they can't, can't, couldn't get it right. The Queensland one, yeah, yeah read so, that. So they had some issues with it, which is fine. So at least the government. Well, they had false positives to HIV, didn't yeah, they? Isn't that, that what it was? How did, how did that work? Yeah, is that what? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. I don't know how that worked. But yeah. Anyway. Well, so, well, yeah. So see you later. So at least they had three other suppliers, so mm. they can up up the ante on those and make sure that next year somehow we all get vaccinated. So it's just smart business, you know, yeah. which is what politics is at the end of the day if you running a country is running a business just yeah. a very fucking big one just a big one yeah, <laughs> big budget anyway there you go that's, all right. that's it for all me right. too easy all right well all it's right. got your clock guys have a whiskey on the weekend and this is delicious that's very nice that's really yeah, we're definitely not going to have one more no no we might we might not on camera no, a little sip later too easy and guys uh, and have a great christmas christmas and new year happy new year happy christmas all that we'll uh, we'll see you in the new year, new year. Take care. Enjoy. Enjoy.